Hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing well today. Here I am in beautiful downtown Amnoon. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm a little excited today about Guild Wars 2 because um, I was watching it. I saw a posting on YouTube. A guy named Mukluk, it's M-U-K-L-U-K, and he put a posting about a new uh, add-on uh, tool, a, a tool that makes, I guess an add-on manager, you would call it, and then the add-on manager uh, is, is a new thing that evidently they've gotten now instead of having to manually put your add-on. I've never used the add-on in Guild Wars 2. I've used add-ons in other games I've played, but uh, I, I never never found a need for it for my uses anyway in uh, Guild Wars 2. So, uh, Mukluk uh, was talking about this new tool, this add-on manager. And in that, he was also mentioned that they have a new add-on that actually brings Guild Wars 2 to the modern day age. I guess uh, if you have a, a computer that isn't too old, that has DirectX 12 support, you can now, with this add-on, get DirectX 12. And I just got it installed on mine. I, it's my first add-on I've ever put in Guild Wars 2. And I got to say, uh, the, it seems to, to me, I never paid much attention to the frame rate, but the frame rate seems better. The, the performance seems a little better, but the visuals is just, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it just looks better. It's, the colors pop more. The, uh, check this out here, this, uh, I mean, you see stuff here. It just the detail looks better. It just looks better. It's uh, awesome. I mean, even when I even when I get on my playing Jane little skimmer guy here, he he looks better. Uh, everything looks better. The performance is, is supposedly the big deal. Um, let's see here. Where am I? Oh, my dragon. He, he looks and it's just all plain Jane stuff. I don't even have the fancy stuff. Some of these people got the fancy stuff, you know. Let's see if I can find one here that's got a fancy one somewhere. Uh, fly around a little bit. I don't see one right off the bat here. But everything just looks so much prettier. I just don't know how else to put it. I mean, I know that's probably not technical, but <laughs> it just looks better. Yeah, the colors are more vivid. Uh, everything just looks better. So, uh, you might check out uh, Muck Luck over there on, on YouTube. Just just do a search for him, and and this and this is a video he posted in the last couple of days. It's a short video, and he talks about the add-on. I did have a problem when I installed the add-on uh, manager. I had no problem, but then when I start installed the Direct X12 add-on, all of a sudden the game wouldn't load for me. So underneath the comment section on Mukluk's video, a guy put in all these other links for if you have problems, here's additional links. And I went to an install link from the after reading the comment section underneath when my game wouldn't load, and uh, and it said here go to this install. They had an install wiki for the DirectX 12 add-on. And I went there, and it, it said, uh, you know, you might have some mods in your N64 folder inside the game folder, which is causing some problems, you know. So 
they've recommended. You just delete the bin 64 folder and not get rid of all that stuff and it'll recreate it when you load the game next time. It's not gonna hurt anything. So I did that, boom, they fixed it, voila. It was up and running, everything's gorgeous and beautiful and fast and, oh, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy, very happy with the way it's working and uh, looking. Eh, probably prettier places I could go here, you know, but I just happened to be in this area because I uh, recently got the, uh, the skimmer, tr I'm working on my skimmer training down here, you can see my my ma ma mastery uh, XP, I guess they call it. I uh, actually have uh, the training for my, my skimmer mount here that I'm working on. Because the skimmers now can submerge in water. They don't, they don't, it's a new thing they just, just put out probably within the last week or so. With your skimmer now, you can go underwater. But of course, you got to do, you know, umpteen quests things to, to get the quote unquote necessary training and then you got to have eight masteries here uh, yeah. so I had to go I had to go into my achievements because I had gotten all the landscape masteries for Path of Fire but I only had one when I, when I started this a week ago I think when when they came out with the you can now go underwater with your with your skimmer, and uh, so I'm, that's what I'm working on. I got all my mastery points now. I did that through my achievements. Uh, where is that in here? You know, you can go into your achievements here. There's and you, and you look at your your achievements in uh, whatever area you're working on, and some of these achievements will give you. Uh, Masteries. I think I did all the ones that in in the Path of Fire area. And you know that's the uh, where was I here? Uh, nah. Oh, I tagged them up here. Here's one. See the Springer backpack, and you got it. You got all these achievements to get here and then when you get it all completed you get a mastery point so you can look into your achievements and it's kind of nice uh, because it, it can actually show you what what areas and what what maps are you know you, you often wonder what what maps or what areas well if you go in here your achievements you look under path of fire it tells you all the maps here you know, Crystal Desert, Domain of Abbey, the Desolation, the Elon Riverlands, the Desert Highlands, and the Crystal Oasis. So those are the maps that consist of Path of Fire maps where you can get this color of mastery points. You know, Heart of Thorns, a different color, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I was confused in the game at first with, with that. I was like, it said, oh, well, you can get these kind of mastery points on on the maps of Path of Fire. And I'm like, well, where the hell? Because I had never messed with the achievements part. I have already, uh, when you go to the masteries, it doesn't tell you anything about maps. It just tells you, you know, if you want to learn this stuff and you want to get these, you use the Path of Fire maps. And I'm like, well, that doesn't help a lot, to, you know, but if you click up on achievements here it breaks it down for you as to which maps those are so that you know that that was a, a earth shattering uh, discovery for me I was like oh that's how I could know what maps are in what region or area or whatever so I know where to go to obtain the experience because if you're not on a path of fire map you do not obtain Path of Fire experience. So, anyway, I know this is probably basic stuff to a lot of people out there, but for me, it was uh, trying to figure all this out from the get-go. Was uh, I joined the guild in the beginning, but uh, I didn't like it. Uh, a lot of stuff they do, uh, I, 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 I. I'd rather do solo. And there was a there there was a a person on there that I didn't get along with too. So
So anyway, that caused caused issues when the second in command uh, is rude. And I'm a, I'm an older guy, and I'm not gonna put up with that. Anyway, uh, so I just wanted to let you know to go check out Muck Luck. That's M U K L U K on YouTube. He, he's got the scoop for you on uh, how you can get direct X12 on Guild Wars 2. It's uh, it's amazing. Of course, you, you got to have hardware that supports that. And uh, you can Google the, all the information, you know, on, on how you can uh, do that. There's a there's a tool called DX Diag. That, that's D X D I A G. If you type that in your Windows uh, uh, search bar, there it'll it'll, it'll, it'll tell you uh, if you support Direct X 12. Because if you don't support DirectX 12, then you cannot run DirectX 12. <laughs> you know, pretty simple. you got to have the hardware, the video card, that supports DirectX 12. So if, if, if you don't, then you're out of luck. You, 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 it ain't going to work. Got, got to have it. And, you know, I wish everybody uh, lots of luck here. Like I say, this is just, uh, it really is amazing. It really is amazing, you know, the difference. I, I'm, I'm blown away, you know. I gotta go look underwater real quick, let's All of see. You listen to me, please. We have a serious problem. See how it looks underwater. Let me go back here into the what? bay. Why look at that grass that? on that listen, area. Please, wow. Hear me out. The colors, the, the visuals are just awesome. As always, totally, totally awesome. And I got a lamp for a second to reach in. There we go. I think I'm needed back in the city. All right, all right. Get to work, everyone. I am totally Watch out for yourselves out there. blown away by this. Oops. Okay, let's see what it looks like underwater here. Yeah, it does. It, it just everything just looks better. It, it just looks. I don't know. Maybe even the focus looks better. It just it's crisper and cleaner, and the colors are. Look at that fish. It looks better. It just looks better. Blown away. Blown away. Direct X12. Uh, wow. It, it has arrived here for uh, Guild Wars 2. Uh, I hope it works for you. I hope you get it. And I hope you're as happy with it as, as I am. With, with that, I'm going to get off of here I, I uh, just wanted to make a, a quick little video to because I've seen a lot of people complaining about DirectX 9 and stuff was still DirectX 9 you know let's join the 21st century you know and get DirectX 12 you know and uh, it's here it's there there you go that's available uh, get it it's, uh, if your system supports it you, you, you will not be disappointed all the best to, to everyone.